Hi all, welcome to Sidza.com. In our last video we learned that in an ionic bond formation there are three main steps, three main different types of energies that are involved. Number one is an ionization energy, electron affinity and the Lattice energy. But here in this video we will you know discuss about the third part that is the Lattice energy. Before I start let's have a quick revision what we learned in our last video. We learned that in an ionic bond formation there is transfer of electron. One atom it loses electron and the other one gains. And there are two important energies that are involved. Number one ionization energy which is called as an energy that is required to remove the electron from an atom in its gaseous state. Right? Suppose we have a sodium and when it absorbs the ionization energy it can release electron from its valence shell. So this is the ionization energy. For the ionic bond formation ionization energy should be low. And the second thing is another atom should be there that can gain the electron. Like we have a chlorine and this atom should have a high electron affinity. Correct? When it accepts electron there it forms the Cl negative there. And the energy which is released here is called as an electron affinity. And once these ions are formed there, okay, when you get a cation and the anion, now these ions come close and they form a solid here, a crystalline solid. Due to the attraction between the oppositely charged ions, cation and the anion there, right, some energy will be released. And this energy that's released here is called as a Lattice energy. And this is our topic. Lattice energy is the amount of energy which is released when the gaseous cations come close and form the one mole of a ionic crystal. That's called as a Lattice energy. So Lattice energy determines here the force of attraction between the ions in a crystalline solid. So how strongly, how tightly the ions are held together in the crystalline solid, that you can determine from the Lattice energy. Higher Lattice energy means that the ions in the crystalline solid are tightly packed together and the force of attraction is very strong. Lattice energy depends on two important factors. Number one is the size of the ion and second is the charge of the ion. So you can say here, Lattice energy it depends on the size. Actually, you know, it is inversely proportional to the size, but it is directly proportional to the charge of the ion. So, Lattice energy is directly proportional to, to the charge. That means the charge of cation and the charge of anion. And it's inversely proportional to the size of the ions. Let's take here an example. If you look at the sodium chloride, and the sodium bromide. Here if you compare the two uh, uh, salts here, sodium chloride and the sodium bromide, cation is same. You can see here the charge of the cation and the charge of anion, plus one, minus one, plus one, so the charge is same. For these two salts the charge is same, right? Because the charge of the cation and the charge of anion in both cases is the same, plus one, here also plus one, minus one, minus one, but the size is different. Sodium here it is the same, only the difference here is anion, right? So we have a difference of anion here. That means chloride, and if you look at the chloride and the bromide, bromide has a bigger size. The size of the bromide is bigger than the chloride, but the charge is actually the same, right? The charge is the quantity of the charge on an ion is the same, while well, there is a difference in the size. Okay, so the size of bromide is more, so size more means Lattice energy will be less. Correct? Lattice energy will be less. So that means it is a sodium chloride where you find higher Lattice energy. Right? So that means the Lattice energy of the sodium chloride will be greater than the Lattice energy of the sodium bromide. And at the two ions, suppose let's compare here the sodium chloride and let's compare the beryllium chloride. 
Now, in the two salts here, sodium has a plus one charge, beryllium is actually plus two charge. Right? Beryllium is plus two charge. And sodium is plus one. Chloride here, minus one. So there's a difference of the charge on the cations here. Beryllium with two plus charge and the sodium with plus one charge. So higher charge on the beryllium means it has a more less energy. So that, that means the less energy of the beryllium chloride is greater than sodium chloride. Less energy is a very important topic and we can explain most of the you know, properties of the ionic compounds only with the help of uh, less energy. Like suppose we can explain the solubility of ionic compounds. We can explain the melting and the boiling point of the ionic compounds. We can explain the stability of the ionic compounds with the help of Lattice energy. These are the topics that I am going to discuss in our coming videos. Right? Let's take here a couple of more questions on the Lattice energy. So we have different salts here and we have to find the salt with the maximum value of Lattice energy. As we know, the Lattice energy it depends on the charge of the cation and the charge of anion and is inversely proportional to the size of the ions. Here if you look at the salts, look at these salts, we have different salts here. The charge is same. Now there's a difference of size. And look at the common thing first. The common thing here is we have a sodium ion in every salt. So that means the difference is anion. Right? That's the difference. We know that here, it is the fluoride that is the smallest size. Then chloride, then bromide, then iodide. And the size here, you know, you can say is iodide has the highest size, fluoride the lowest size. So the size increases like this, fluoride, then chloride, then bromide, and then you have an iodide. This is the decrease in the size. So smallest here, Smallest size is here with the fluoride and this has the highest size. Small size means highest uh, less energy. Correct? That means among the four salts, it is the sodium uh, fluoride that has the highest, the maximum less energy. And you can arrange these, all these salts here in the decreasing order of their less energy, right? So if you want to write down the decreasing order, Correct? You want to write down the decreasing order of the Lattice energies of these different salts. You can say highest is the fluoride, sodium fluoride, and then it will be the sodium chloride, then it will be the sodium bromide, and then it will be the sodium iodide. This is the lowest one because sodium iodide is the lowest one because here the iodide has the highest size and size is inversely proportional to the Lattice energy. More size means lower Lattice energy. Now, another question here, which one has the lowest value of Lattice energy? Again, we know that the Lattice energy depends on the charge of cation, charge of anion, and it is inversely proportional to the size. So we have to first find here the difference, okay? That will give us the answer. You see here, we have an oxygen, which is common. But the difference is now a cation here. Beryllium, magnesium, calcium, and strontium. Beryllium has the smallest size. So lowest size, we know that, you know, in the group, we have a beryllium there, in the group second, then we have magnesium, then we have calcium, strontium, right? These are the elements in the order. So this has a small size, and this has the highest size. Smallest size means it has the highest, you know, Lattice energy. So that means beryllium oxide with small size will have the highest Lattice energy. And strontium oxide among the four salts, it has the highest size. Strontium has the higher, higher size. The low, you know, it will have a lowest value of Lattice energy. 
click it will be the lowest blood energy and you can all you know write down the decreasing order right if you want to write down the decreasing order decreasing order of the lats energies for these four different salts so we can say the beryllium oxide has the highest lats energy and then it will be the magnesium oxide and then it will be the calcium oxide and then the strontium oxide hope you got the concept thanks for watching the video bye for now